Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna show you how I use Kayla's designs today. These are her doll packages. So it comes with the dresses and the hair that you can swap out. And I know she has so many more things coming, coming out for these dolls. So let's go onto her website. I have it up here right now. And these are different packages that you can get. You can see all the dresses and the hairstyles. And what's amazing about these SVG files is that you can swap them out and you can personalize them. So let me show you how. I'm gonna show you in design space. So let's get in there. All right, so here it is. I've already uploaded the files. I'm gonna to go to my uploads and I'm just gonna click on them to bring them in. So here are the dresses, the dolls themselves, and the hairstyles. These are a lot of files right now. So once we bring them in, I'm going to uh, start removing some of these things just so that it's not so crazy on the screen. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. What is so different about these is that before, and you know, as some of you guys know, I'm not a designer. So when I am trying to personalize things, I'm in design space slicing and trying to make it work and uh, you know, just working with the files that I have on hand. And I think a lot of you guys are like me where we don't know how to actually fix the, or not fix the designs, but make the changes to the actual SVG files. So what is great about this? Let's go first to the dolls. I'm gonna ungroup it. And there's gonna be this little square in the back. You're just gonna delete it. Those are there so that everything comes in at the same size so that you can swap things out. My recommendation is that as you're working on these dolls, I would rather use this to make it bigger and small so that everything fits, so that all the hairstyles fit on the dolls so that you're not, um, you're not resizing just yet. You'll resize at the end, okay? All right, so we've got our dolls. I'm gonna keep, I'll just keep this first one, okay? I'm gonna remove these for now, but I can show you how, <laughs> how everything works. Okay, let's do the same thing with the dresses. I'm gonna ungroup it, but let's just keep, um, let's keep some fun things though. Okay, so let's remove the square. We're gonna remove this. Let's ungroup this one and just keep maybe, um, this and maybe we'll keep that okay we're going to remove the rest just so that it doesn't clutter up our our screen right now let's ungroup this as well and let's keep a pair of glasses on there okay and let's do the same thing with the hair i love this hair right here this little oops let me ungroup it um this little bun oh my god love it and this one is one of my favorites okay so I'm gonna remove everything else, right? We've got a lot of dolls on here. So now that we only have a few things, I'm going to go back in and scroll, or um, make this so that we can get everything on screen so that you guys can see it. Now, what is amazing about these files is that they're in, you know, you can exchange, you can switch them out, they all fit. You can see the glasses right here. Oops, you're gonna have to, the, the one thing that, you know, as you put these dolls together, you're gonna need to go to arrange and bring things forward. So um, I'm gonna bring the glasses to the front so that they're here. <laughs> so cute. Okay, um, let me move this down a little, oh my gosh. Things, she looks so different once you put the hair on, right? Okay, so we've got this hair. And I'll, let me just put some clothes on her. So arrange, send to the front. Okay. Everything has the black outline so that it fits on the dolls. So you just need to make sure that you like where it goes. But you see how like we put, oh, this is driving me crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. You see like once we put everything together, it all works, right? And then I'm gonna swap out this hair and put this hair on and that that fits on her as well. You can kind of lower it and get that look and feel that you want. What's amazing about this, so many different things. One is that they're SVG files. So you can go in here and still change the colors. So for instance, if you wanna make this, the top of the dress a different color, you can select, these are all items that line, separate line items that you can still customize. So I can change the dress to blue, let's say, 
And just so that you guys know, in case you don't know, um, you can click on advanced. If you like the blue, but you want to, you know, experiment with the different shades of blue, you can click on that advanced button and really get, you know, really get in there and, and pick all your colors. Um, all these pieces. The other thing that I love is that I do these dolls and make them big, right? So you can do that as well. What's nice is that each one of these layers comes with this bright green layer. So the dress, for example, has a green layer. The hair has a green layer. And you may ask, why is that a mistake? It is not a mistake. What happens is, for instance, when you make this really big, right? Her whole body right here would be one sheet of cardstock unless you want a seam, right? But when you put on the dress, what you'll rec what you'll realize is that her body isn't all one one connected piece, right? I could separate and have the arms be one piece, the neck be another piece, so that all of a sudden I can make her really big and still keep her very much seamless. Um, so what you want to do is if you like this uh, this dress the way it is, right? You would take this green layer. So I'm going to select the green layer. I'm going to scroll down to her skin. So here's her body. I hit the shift key so that I grab those two items and then I'm going to slice. So when I slice, it's going to slice perfectly for me instead of trying to you know make this work right so now this is her body separated into pieces um now they are because we sliced it and we're slicing two items at a time you know that this is all one it's all one item even though there are five items here you're gonna need to further slice to isolate each one of these items so what you want to do is you want to grab any shape i'm just going to grab a square when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So I'm slicing the skin and the square. I'm isolating the piece that I want to separate from the group, right? So this arm, I wanna separate it from the group. I wanna make sure that my square covers just the item I wanna isolate, and then I'm going to grab the two items. When you grab the two items, let me move my face over. You can see that I do have the option to slice. It is not grayed out. When you slice, you need two, exactly two items. You cannot slice more than two and you cannot slice less than two. So if your item is gray, if your slicing is grayed out, like for instance right now, it's because I don't have anything selected. If I pick more than two, like now, that is also not available. I will say that most of the time when you cannot slice, it is user error. I've, I, I'm trying to think of any time that I've ever had a slicing issue that was not my fault, um, and I can't think of it. <laughs> so let, um, let's see, let's slice these two items out so that you, we can isolate that arm so that you can see how that works. So now you can remove, you could delete that. And so now this arm is by itself and you can, you know, make it really big and it would be seamless, right? Um, you also want to do this if you're worried about being efficient with paper, right? Because you can move all your pieces. You don't need this, this middle body part, right? Because it's covered with her clothes. So there's no need to cut that out. So you can delete that. You can delete all this green over here as well. All right, if you wanna continue removing all these pieces to make them its own piece, you can still use this one. We can make this really big, right? And I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna show you something else. So right now, you see how you, I can't really isolate, the, the way the piece is right now, I can't really isolate this arm without it going into the neck area. So if I do that, that doesn't work, right? Because, and I'll show you, I'll actually slice it so you can see why it doesn't work. So I'm gonna slice it. You're gonna end up slicing the neck out, which is defeats the purpose, right? So let's un, undo this for a minute. Okay, so your options are when pieces are too close together and you can't isolate it. I mean, here, I think we could do it if we had a different piece. I'm gonna remove that. But your other option is to duplicate it 
right? So I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna hide all and it will leave me the arm. You just wanna make sure that you duplicate enough times for however many pieces that you want separated. So in this case, if you want all four pieces to be separated, you need four total copies of this image. And each time you're gonna to go to contour and you're gonna leave just the piece that you want, okay? All right, so that's one piece of it. Um, I'm gonna remove that because I'm showing you just how to do things. You're gonna do the same thing with the hair. So you'll get into the groove of things, but for instance, the hair, you don't need the whole forehead, right? So I'm gonna put this down. And this helps too if you're isolating the ears because sometimes that way you can make your face really big. The ears will take off an inch or so and now you've bought yourself another inch or so in your big project. So, um, all right, so same thing, let's look at the hair. So I'm, I clicked on the hair so that I can see all the pieces and here are the green pieces again. So here's the green, I'm selecting that one. I'm gonna go now and find her face and there's her face. So I'm gonna hit shift, grab that one. I have two items and I'm gonna slice it now. So when I slice it, I now don't need the forehead, right? And so now look at her face and I can remove the ears the same way that I showed you before. So I can, let's delete this. Let's bring in, I'm gonna do a circle this time, right? So I can do that, slice, and now this ear, and the ear, there's a lot of space, right? So then I can make this face a lot bigger. I mean, that's just, when you're doing big projects, um, that's what, you know, I do so much of that, that I'm always focused on how to make things big and seamless, but, um, and you see how, okay, so let me grab that again. There must be another item under here because it's, oh no, it didn't, and let me slice, okay. So I'm gonna click slice. Maybe I only grabbed one item. <laughs> all right, so we could delete all the gray stuff. And then here are her two ears. Um, but like I said, if you were more worried about saving your cardstock, you can then maybe move this ear in here. When you go to cut it, I think it might fit in the, in the eyes. You do something like that. <laughs> so for two two reasons why you want to do that, right? You could you could be more efficient on your paper, and you can also um, make things bigger. Okay, um, let's talk about um, if we want to add something. Hold on, what was I going to do? Oh, let's see. If we add on the hair, for instance, right, like this. What you can do is if you want the whole background to be together, you can grab the black background of the hair, whoops, right here. And you can go and grab um, the, the full black background, right? So hit the shift key and grab this one. So now I've got the two items. You can go to combine and weld so that now your black background also covers whatever pieces that you've added on. So I'm going to arrange and send this to the back. And so you can see now the hair is part of this full background. And that way you have a very sturdy piece, right? And then, and you know it fits, everything will still look really good because it's designed perfectly for that. So there. Whereas before we would have to mess around with it, right, quite a bit. So. All right, let me see. Same, I mean, it works with all the different hairstyles. Every um, item that you can switch around has that green layer so that you can either slice. Uh, it also has the, the black background so that you can weld it if you wanted to do that. Now, let's say you wanted to, so this is more like I think of it as a cardstock project or a vinyl project. So whether it's adhesive vinyl, um, the sticker vinyl, or it's heat transfer vinyl. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a sticker or a just a, a flat, you know, a flattened item, a print then cut item, you can do that as well. So let's, um, you know what, let's remove all of this for a minute and let's bring in, I'm gonna start over again so that you can see how this works. So I think the more we do it, you'll see. Um, all right, let's, 
make this smaller again, right, so that we can remove some things. And we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna ungroup, ungroup everything so that you can start picking the different pieces. And then I'm just gonna delete to make life easier and we have less things to worry about. All right, so I'm gonna keep this doll, okay? On this one, I'm gonna do, I still love that hairstyle. I'm gonna do that hairstyle. Um, I'm gonna ungroup within the dresses and let's do our little barista. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all this, okay? All right, now we can make it so that we can see her better. Okay, so let's say this is a client or your daughter and you're, you're customizing it. If you want to change the skin color, I the first thing I would do is I would click on the actual skin color because that's that gets you to um, that color. I would click on the color and then you can either just change it from here or click on advance and start changing, you know, the shade that you want, the tone. And then once you have one, then it's easy to do the face. You can just match the face. You click on the face and you know your options are up here of what's already on your uh, canvas right now, okay? You can go in and you can customize the eyes, for instance. Maybe she has green. Um, you can do the lips. Maybe you're wearing lipstick. And let's see, where are all my pinks? Um, go into the, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so that's her lips. I'm gonna put the hair on top. And let's say you wanna match, she has beautiful green eyes and she works at Starbucks. There's her apron, maybe her bows, you want it to match too. So you're just gonna go to these pieces and maybe I don't want it exactly the same green. Um, I'm gonna go to the other bow and do that dark green. Did I pick the right one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute, right? And then let's say, you can further personalize all these things, right? So let me do that. And I want that to be, um, purple and then I'm gonna do an offset I mean these are all things that you can do to really customize and turn oops what happened let me undo that I want to do the name I'm gonna do an offset and what happened here okay the offset clearly is not working right now because that's not a 0.1 offset but that's okay I'm gonna change cha into the color white okay I'm gonna grab the whole thing and flatten and now you can do a print and cut this is a sticker i mean how stinking cute is that you can resize it at this point i love these svg files i cannot wait to see what you guys make with it um how personalized things are gonna be <laughs> and you know, once you start changing just components of it, right? A hairstyle that's very similar to colors that you like. You can add a bracelet, you can add rhinestones, whatever it is to make it more your doll. Um, people are gonna think it's them, right? So like my doll that I had personalized, she was wearing my dress and my, you know, I had my hair color and a few freckles and whatever, but the face isn't my face, right? But these dolls, once you start adding the, the physical traits of the clothes, the hair, and you do that with your cardstock, with your vinyl, it really very much looks like you. So I think this is a, oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun being able to do birthdays, um, themes, all that good stuff. So comments, questions, please let us know. But I hope you guys enjoy Kayla's um, amazing idea. I just, I love it so much. So, all right, I will see you guys. Let me know. Um, uh, and oh my gosh. And just tag us because we want to see your creations. All right, bye.